What's up guys, the Panthers here and welcome to episode number 25 of the Ultimate Team. So this episode guys, we have literally just got some gameplay for you. Three games, we uh, we go back into the Gold Cup because um, we, got, uh, we lost in the final in the last episode, quite disappointing. Just put Huddleston in the squad there so he gets his fitness back when we play the next game. And we're going to be playing with the Brazilian squad, uh, one of the best squads I've ever used in the game to be honest. And yes, it's a very, very pacey squad. Um, but it's thoroughly enjoyable to play with. And I come up against this guy. He's got a very good BPL team. Walcott and Hazard on the wings. Hernandez, Van Persie, Suarez, Fellaini, uh, Vincent Company. You know, he's got the, the whole whole host of Premiership stars. But Carlos Eduardo in the start of the game. Great work down the, the left-hand side of the box. And uh, the, the rebound falls to Wellington there in the third minute who taps it home nicely. Almost straight after I scored that goal, though, the pace of Walcott is too much for me, too much for this club. Look at that. He just steps inside the defender and then boom, right runs past and Dede the centre back there or is that David Luiz? David Luiz it is indeed misses the tackle and Walcott finishes nicely into the 18th minute now and M&EK probably one of the best strikers in this game just walks down the left hand the walk, literally walks down the left hand side of the field passes it into Wellington who's got the easiest finish he will ever have in FIFA making it 2-1 after 19 minutes Wellington's got that great pace and those four star skill moves so you can't complain about that Dede the centre back here running through like a tank evading tackles steps inside and launches one from the edge of the box and the keeper's got no chance of saving that and that's a fucking rocket there from Dede the centre back what a fantastic goal he's unable to stop the power and uh, just before half time Look at the strength from M&EK there, stepping through tackles like nobody's business. Absolutely great agility on the ball, pushing players off, pushing players away, doing the skill dribble through a few of the defenders and making it 4-1 with a superb finish to the far post. Look at the match stats at half-time. The guy had one shot and he clearly did not want any more. He rage quits at half-time. He took the Dench Sausage, losing 4-1, and that team that he had just got absolutely fucked up man absolutely shat on him so that puts us through to the quarter final of the gold cup hopefully we can go on to win it this time and uh, the next game we go back to using the five star weak foot team or the majority of the five star weak foot team as I said before in the last episode we still got like three or four players that we need to make five star weak foot but they will come as the as the days go by we definitely want to swap out Balotelli for Mayuko and I come up against this guy and he's got a pretty fast team Lennon, Walcott, Bent, Sturridge, Young um, and then he's got Richards as a centre back but his formation is just completely fucked um, obviously it's an English team and you know he's got John Terry and Michael Dawson as centre backs and that only speaks good things for me when I've got a team that's got pace out the ass and uh, Balotelli here running forwards cuts it back for Adel Tarapt who's just on form uh, Tarapt and Sessegnon uh, score more goals for me I don't actually think Balotelli scored a goal for me yet um, in like the four games that I've played with him you know he's he's really left in the wake of all the other players we've got Adam Johnson here running down the right hand side and you can see this guy is just he's not very good at FIFA um, Adam Johnson steps inside then left foot fantastic finish to the far post and Johnson is really really good player I never really used him before because um, I've always been a fan of Walcott to use as an English uh, midfielder down the right wing but Johnson's really really good and Tarap there doing some nice work I love that fake shot where they just stop standing still left foot boom near post OP weak foot five star skill thank you very much lovely goal uh, five star weak foot even thank you very much and Tarap scoring cracking goal there and uh, this game just got better and better for me you know when somebody's had enough of the game and when they don't defend well and when they haven't got a very good team uh, you want to make you want to make good use of that and uh, Tarap there gets a bit lucky with the advanced rainbow flick to, to just pull it over the keeper enough but then taps it home to the open net to make it 4-0 after 38 minutes and it just got better from here you know Asaidi into Tarap again through to Balotelli plays it all the way over to Sessegnon who's in acres of space who chips it through to Tom Huddleston who picks up his first goal for the club Huddleston with a fantastic finish I love him man Huddleston's an absolute tank he's so tall he wins all the headers from goal kicks and stuff he's he's awesome and uh, like I said this game not even close to finished yet another nice fake shot there Adam Johnson steps inside launches it to the far post and in off the post always looks sexy when it goes in off the post you can never complain about those ones and Adam Johnson has got a hell of a shot on him and I love the fact that he's left footed and he's got a four star weak foot so if you do just run down a wing with him you can cross it in if you want to or you can cut inside and have a shot and talking about cutting inside and having a shot look at this for a shot boom once again from an absolute mile out Adam Johnson the skill dribble to step inside and evade the challenge and then launches it from like 40 yards and it goes straight into the back of the net to make it 7-0 and here we go with Adele Tarapt getting an easy goal from the goal kick to make it 8-0 in the 88th minute hmm 
So there's some, uh, some conspiracy going on there. Conspiracy going on there. And once again, Balotelli doesn't score in an 8 0 do domination of a guy. Tarat picking up four goals, Johnson with a hat trick, and Huddleston with a goal. And it was just, you know, one of the one of the easiest matches I'm ever likely to have. Now we come up against this guy in a semi-final called the Nice Guys. He's got a very, very strong squad. He's got Agbon Lahore up front, Balotelli and Cazorla as Cams, Bale and Valencia, Torre, Luis, Kabul, Clichy, Sanya, and Laurie. You know, one of the probably one of the most overpowered teams you can get in this game. And it was a really close game at that. And uh it was one of those games, you know, I had to fight for every possession, every ball, every attack was was real hard. And we get to Rapt here and he does a nice little roulette pass, David Luis, and smashes it home to the near post. And Tarap continues his fantastic run of form. I don't know why I ever got rid of my BPL team with him in, with him in because he's genuinely unbelievable in this game. Probably the best player I've used in this game, to be honest. And here goes Asaidi down the... Down the, um, down the wing, hits the post, off the keeper again with the next kick and Asoidi picks it back up left foot finish he's only got a four star weak foot but there's another weak foot goal for you Asoidi making it 2-0 and uh, Sessegnon here let's uh let's Johnson go and uh look just look at the pace of Johnson man we've got like the, all the the fast players in this game trying to catch up with him he doesn't try and tackle him and Johnson smashes it home again to make it 3-0 and uh we had a position in this game um where uh, so Balotelli gets a penalty anyway but uh, he makes it 3-1 Balotelli with a superb penalty just straight into the top uh, top of the net he gives me a bit of dead fish even though he's losing and just towards the end of this game um, well like 70th minute I just had a shot the keeper saved it and the game disconnects uh, he disconnected first which was really fortunate because I actually disconnected pretty much straight after um, but I got to the screen that told me that the game had been won so I got to this screen I got to the you know the 3-1 win and then I got ejected from the servers and um, when I go back into the ultimate team I got awarded the win but I didn't get advanced through to the final of the cup which is quite disappointing so we're still in the semi-finals however guys this is the end of the episode so if you could hit that like button that would be awesome uh, thank you very much for watching leave your comments in the comment section and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, I will see you guys next time cheers